Surprise! Hello, everyone. And as Josh Sokol said, surprise, we did have to swap out Andy. He had to attend to something. So luckily, we have a lot of great Scrabble commentators. We're bringing Josh Sokol back on. Josh is probably, I think, the person who's most familiar in Scrabble with both of these players. As we mentioned at the beginning, Josh plays Jackson all the time. And so with that, uh, we're going to turn back to the games. As a reminder, it is right now one to one. We are playing a best three out of five series. So we will definitely see two more games. If they split these two, we will see a fifth game as well. So Jackson is immediately starting up with guide. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, any thoughts about that, Josh? Yeah, that's the play. And like you mentioned, uh, Jackson opens vertically now. He didn't used to, I think, but I think he's he's seen the light uh, at the end of the <laughs> tunnel. And, uh, and like, meanwhile, ooh, looks like a bad draw for Jackson. Yeah, <laughs> we saw yesterday. <laughs> oh, oh, Jenny's come down. Uh, it looks like he doesn't quite have those letters, though. So Cesar's trying mixed churl. Hey, nice try, Cesar. It would have been a lot of points. So in Scrabble Go, why not? Uh, Josh, what would be sort of your objectives on this turn? Um, I would try mixed churl. <laughs> not <laughs> actually. Um, well, I see the word matrix on Cesar's rack. You could play that in a couple spots, but they don't put the X on anything amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm also thinking about maybe just like mixed. Um, I don't see anything great here. Just like maybe max and X, U, and A, G keeps a, yeah. keeps a decent leave, especially if you imagine that that E is going to stay open in guide. Uh, if you're keeping T-I-R-L, it's not really anything special unless there's maybe an E to play through. Yeah, and guider, I believe, is also a word. So the R could be a key tile here. Uh, I'm actually wondering, so is Max better than something like Lax there? Just because on this board that's pretty uh, slow to start, uh, it might be good to have a scoring tile. Uh, what would be your thoughts on that, Josh? Yeah, that's definitely a plus for the play of Lax. But I think other factors um, even it out, especially since Max scores uh, four more points. Yeah, so... With that, Cesar plops down Max, uh, picks up a Z, so we did get a scoring tile in the end. And if you're Jackson here, yeah, my I guess... I'm just going to quickly see a play here, yeah. Yeah, so either goody or exchanging there. It has to be one of those two. Uh, either seems fine. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you exchange, you keep an E, probably. Um, usually it's a bit better than keeping uh, nothing. Uh, but that's the only tile I would keep here. Um, other than that, Goody, I mean, it scores 10 points. 10 points is 10 points, so it might be it might be worth just playing through here, even though you're keeping a, a worse leaf of two E's. Yeah, and the chat's pointing out that you said Andy was phenomenal, and I'm merely great, so uh, I will uh, try to get to that phenomenal status. Uh, if you have any recommendations for me in the chat, like if you want me to point out any crazy plays or something... Uh, I want to get to that phenomenal status, so okay. let me know. Well, I mean, I think I still have another bout with you, so I just don't. I don't want to like. <laughs> oh, you don't want to lock it in too soon, since I, I, I like yeah, to change yeah, the subject. Enough. This is very uncomfortable, but Cesar is putting down Czar, which is very yeah. funny. It's it's his uh, good old nickname from uh, from way back when he wasn't concerned with people pronouncing his name Cesar, um, but. Yeah, no, you're doing great. I'm still going to say you're doing great. And we'll see. We'll see. With you. we'll see. We'll see. So with that, he plays Czar, yeah. the uh, Russian oligarch. Uh, and so if you're Jackson here, this is a really tough position. Cesar's already starting to build up a lead, and you really don't want to have to exchange again. Uh it's it's a difficult position for Jackson. I guess, how would you approach this? Um, I would first be like, oh, maybe I should have played Goody. And then I would just get out of that mindset and just try to make the best play. So he's going to, he's going to, he's slightly, he's getting slightly closer and closer. I can't even speak. He's getting closer and closer to good rack. So now <laughs> he drew triplicate ease again, but he's uh, he's getting there. 
He is getting there indeed while Cesar plops down Thrill. And now Cesar is, uh, I, ah, man, I pronounced it wrong after seeing Czar, uh, but he uh, will take an even larger point lead. Now it'll be 95 to 18. Yeah, and as you yeah. can see, not scoring points with Goody. I don't know, you, you just see he's ahead already, Cesar, by 77 points. Uh, and he hasn't even played a bingo, so Jackson is very, very quickly um, leading towards uh, being down quite a lot. Yeah, so, and Jackson also, at this point, because Cesar... Uh, had so many turns in a row where he scored, there aren't that many good spots even open. So Jackson, it's a really tough position here. He probably wants to get rid of at least one of those E's, potentially two, but he's just not going to be scoring a lot of points here. And it's definitely frustrating after you exchange two turns in a row to take less than 20 points on the next turn too. It's just hard to come back from that. Absolutely. Um, so he's he's putting down Leet for six points. It just shows you how much trouble he's in. Um, that's probably as good as anything. He could be considering uh, the board already at this stage. He could have played something like maybe Tire and Guider uh, just to, to separate the board in two. But I think uh, Leet is, is fine enough. And now we see Cesar using the hook on Guide to uh, get rid of some of his letters and also make the board a bit less uh, conducive to a comeback for Jackson. Yeah, although in this case, <laughs> he does give Jackson a nice Q play of QI and GI. So my guess is Jackson will play that pretty quickly. He can finally score a bit, which even though it doesn't get a bingo like he's been trying to do these past few turns, he'll take it at this point. It's, <laughs> it's a good first step to getting back in the game. So plays QI and we'll see what he draws. Yeah, oh, that's good. That's that's a good draw. But uh, Cesar, wow, I didn't even see that. That was a very quick find by Cesar of, of resoaked to the D, and he's going to be very happy with his position once uh, once he's uh, once Jackson makes this play, because otherwise he might just be worried about a, a triple triple. Well, courtesies, I believe, is a word through an O, so. <laughs> That could definitely come down as a response play for Jackson here. Uh, definitely, yeah. That's, uh, that's a great find there. So Cesar, I keep seeing Czar and I'm focused on that. I am apologize for mispronouncing your name, Cesar. I'll do better, I promise. Uh, so he puts down Resoaked. Uh, it definitely is a bit risky, but when you have a thing like that, you usually should just go for it. Mm-hmm. As as they say, when in doubt, play the bingo. So he has courtesies, and he also has the fun icterix, as we're seeing suggested by the engine. Uh, courtesies score six more points. It isn't as dangerous. Um, Jackson doesn't really need to open that part of the board just yet. Um, putting an S out there is just uh, probably the worst letter you can put in a triple-triple lane, not only because so many triple-triples fit there, but also... So many plays, you could just pluralize the play, score 50 points. Um, so if Jackson sees courtesies, I think he's going to play it quite fast. Yeah, so if you don't see it, though, it's understandable. Two C bingos are often hard to see uh, just because, <laughs> yeah, I know that that's kind of a tongue twister or something. Uh, but... They're low probability words, so you might have not even studied it before if you haven't looked at all the words. So he's trying serotics, which uh, I believe serotic is a word, but serotics uh, pluralized is not. Oh, yeah, so he might also word. try orectics, I'm guessing, next, uh, just because that is the other seven letter word in there. Uh, oh, yeah, looks, that's yeah, what he's so doing. He's... And it's, it's really funny that, that he's doing this because. I mean, seven-letter words are easier to, to find than eight-letter words. So if you see um, serotic and orectics, you, 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 you're going to see those first because the seven-letter word is easier to spot. But once you realize those aren't words, you just people that have studied as much as Jackson are just like, oh, okay, courtesies, that's the only one in there. And that's what we see here. Yeah, so he rotates through his plays, finds the bingo, and is getting back in it. 
Yep, and uh, wow, quick uh, quick action here. Cesar uh, realizes that he was in time trouble, I think, in the previous game, or maybe both games. Um, pro bono, I see. Nice, nice try. Not all Latin words are words. Um, so I think he's going to play proof. And we were talking about extensions. There's so many extensions of the word proof if he chooses to do that. Um, can you see any right now off the top of your head, Morris? Five letter extensions for proof? Uh, proofreads, I'm guessing, is a word. Uh, yeah. so, so proofreads could come down if he does play proof there. Um, yeah, I, and I'm wondering even if there's extensions the other way, right? Like sun That's what I was thinking. I mean, you, you, went, the, you went the other way. <laughs> oh, okay. Got <laughs> I it, think got there's, it. A lot, there's probably a lot more the other way, but proofreads is a really good find um yes. waterproof i can think of nice uh, there's yeah. probably at least a dozen more um you basically when <laughs> when proof is on the board like this if i was well if i were playing i would just look for five letter words on my rack first and foremost and then be like oh does that go behind proof because hey anything could be proof <laughs> could be uh i don't know it could be ba band proof that's not <laughs> five letters I'll stop trying. Brand proof, how about instead? Uh, but meanwhile, uh, Jackson right now is holding A-D-E-N-N-V-Y. He has started to claw back after getting courtesies, but Cesar does have a round of bingo advantage right now. Uh, with Jackson here, he's probably trying to get rid of tiles like the V and score a bit. He does probably need a bingo or a huge uh, power tile play to really come back. But with the Z and the X and the Q already gone, bingoing is going to be his most likely route. Yeah, and he's going for Navy. Uh, I think playing Navy somewhere is, is the correct play here. The only question is whether he wants to play it there, as you see on the screen, or if he wants to play it next to the E and the S in courtesies for two more points. Uh, the issue with that placement is that it just makes plays to the triple quite easy for uh for Cesar to to come back with so uh when you're behind you're not only thinking about scoring points you're also thinking uh, about trying to prevent your opponent from scoring points and that's why uh Jackson decided to play navy for only 24 rather than 26 yeah and so with that the score is 207 to 158 uh Jackson could definitely be within striking distance soon we haven't seen any blinks yet, so those are probably going to be two of the key tiles that come with the rest of the game. Uh, I'm also, now that you mentioned proof hooks, I'm wondering if thrill seek is a word. Uh, <laughs> thrill seek. I would be but, very surprised, but hey. But uh, I wonder if there's any four letter extensions to thrill also that could come down. If, uh, we, have some, if we have some Sia fans here, there's a possibility of cheap thrills. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, this is a great play by uh, by Cesar, uh, outlining one of one of the things we've been talking about all the time. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Um, he's he's made it fit uh, with by. That's a really good find, and these players just see these plays almost instantaneously. And if they don't play them immediately, it's because they're just looking to see if there's anything better. If you find a good play, uh, try to find a better one. And I really like that decision by Cesar. Uh, I'm not using too much time. The time is actually almost tied at this moment. Um, and I am seeing a play for Jackson, Knide, from the C in Cortices, which is a bit weird because you don't really want to keep an F. Uh, but I think it probably scores more than anything else. Um, so I'm wondering if he's going to see or play that. And, uh, it take looks a little like he bit has it hit. set up on his rack. He has N-I-D-A-E as his first five tiles. Uh, so uh, Knide might come down. Uh, the engine is also pointing out Fade In as a possibility at B9. Oh, of uh, course. Right. But that would be a pretty volatile play just because it would take an S. And with Jackson not having either the two S's or the two blinks at this point and Cesar playing off tiles, that... Uh, of three one pointers probably suggests he's holding one pointers too. Uh, that probably made Jackson more likely to opt for Knide. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's it's very interesting though. I mean, Faden not only does it 
uh, create an S hook for Cesar, it also creates an S hook for Jackson. And when you're behind like this, you're basically hoping that you draw the better of the tiles sometimes. Um, but I think the worst problem with that play of fade in is that it opens a uh, parallel play possibility on uh, on the for, uh, leftmost row for Cesar. Uh, he's putting the E right next to the uh, the double letter score, and you could just very easily score 40 to 50 points. So that's why I probably would opt for Knide here, which also opens a spot for a bingo, uh, which is another another good thing about it. But it looks like Cesar is going to block that pretty quickly. Yeah, and so I'm seeing in the chat now someone said they liked bingo proof as uh, a possibility. I have a G, he played through a G, but uh, that's, <laughs> that's definitely a funny suggestion. Um, I think he's going to play a land. I mean, he had it he had it put uh put down in the beginning uh but then he took it back because once again these top players they they see these things really fast but they just want to be very sure of themselves before making uh the play that they they saw immediately hmm. yeah i mean it's one of those racks where you feel like there could be something more uh you have to consider just <laughs> Am I set up well for next turn to possibly bingo just because I have so many one point tiles I'm keeping? And a land is kind of just a shrug play. Like, yeah, it's the best kind of a, to kind of balance that scoring, leave board dynamics, but it's not anything that's like especially uh, enticing. So I understand the want to sort of try and look at other options here. But yeah, I, I agree with you, Josh. He'll probably end up going back to that. Yeah, um, we as pointed out, Jackson drew another two U's, which is just not what he wants to see here. He's only down by forty something right now uh, and turn, but um, he might. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for him um, after Cesar makes any play. Honestly, there's there's really nothing good here uh, for Jackson, so he just has to wait and see. Maybe he'll get a a nice way to to get rid of his U's, but. He's probably just waiting to see what Cesar does. So a land comes down, nice play by Cesar, and he's uh, now ahead by over sixty points. And we'll see what Jackson does. What do you What are you seeing here, Morris? Yeah, I'm not seeing a ton. He could play Feu off of the E and S and Cortices is something that I see immediately. That would get. He probably wants to get rid of the duplicate U. So at playing at least one and playing an E there too. If he can't rid of, get rid of both U's, it's probably good to only keep two vowels there. Uh, so that's something that's potentially uh, an option. I guess. Are you seeing anything big there, Josh? I'm seeing things that I really don't like. Um, but yeah. oh, unfree. That's uh, that's the play that's being highlighted. That's that's Jackson's play. I think it scores as best as he can hope for. Gets rid of one of the U's, and uh, it just keeps clawing his way back into the game. Hopefully, he'll get a good draw after that. Other plays like Feu anywhere. I mean, they're they're just not good for for Jackson's chances because they block parts of the board he wants to play a bingo in. Um, yeah. Well, it looks like he might be considering FEU on the other side of the board. That's definitely an interesting idea. I mean, that side of the board has a lot of opportunity to be open still. The last four columns haven't been played, uh, and no words have gone through there at all at this point. So uh, he could be thinking Cesar might make a play that's conducive to opening that side as a response to this. Uh, it definitely it definitely is... Uh, a worthwhile thing to consider at least. And he looks like he's going to go with that. Maybe hoping, hoping that that part of the board will get open. Yeah. I definitely don't blame him here. Um, it's very frustrating to have so many unwieldy racks in the same game. Uh, while it appears that your opponent has pretty easy plays. Um, I guess if, if uh, tables were turned and, and Jackson was ahead, I think he probably would have seen the play of unfree. Uh, it's just, quite frustrating uh, after so many U's, I think. But I wonder if, if that really plays a role here, because both these players... Well, actually, one of these players is, is, is decent <laughs> at um, not getting too emotional when they're when they behind. <laughs> um, yeah, Do you want me to I'll continue that? I'll say no more about that. Yeah, I'll say no more about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
One thing that Jackson is close to here, I believe in baking, you can underproof something. Um, I've watched enough of Great British Baking Show to know that. So Jackson is close to that, although I think three Ds have already been played. But it would be really cool if he keeps those four letters and picks up the D next turn. Uh, Definitely. Underproof, underproof is a word. And I just want to give a little quiz to everybody in chat. Uh, without looking, can you find the anagram? of underproof there's actually another word that uses all of the same letters as underproof as long as you mix them up properly you will find this word so yeah just a little uh if you see it don't don't uh, don't spoil it i think i see it actually but uh, oh you can spoil it morris that's fine is it profounder or very nice amazing yeah. okay us, yes. us uh, experts we like to anagram but we rarely get the opportunity to anagram a 10-letter word. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so Jackson doesn't keep the U, which is probably a good move from a Scrabble standpoint, but maybe not from a fun standpoint, just because underproof would have been such a cool word. Mm. Uh, and, but that has that's to be That's definitely, right yeah, that's right definitely the right play. This is really interesting. I mean, I saw Cesar put down Shun very quickly, um, making Thrills and Tan. But uh, I don't think he sees that he could play in that same spot and play Swum. Nice. Swum is a lot more points than Shun. It gets rid of the W, which is not a tile that many people like. Um, and it keeps very, very well. HNST is a very good lead. Leave. <laughs> Andy was saying lead. Uh, sometimes we get those words confused. But he sees it after all. A very good find by Cesar. Not giving up on the play. Yeah, I remember swum was one of those words that I've previously just like didn't think was a real word. Uh, like I didn't know that. I just when I was like in high school, I don't think knew that tense of swim, uh, but definitely a word. So uh, good find by Cesar. Morris, and, do, you see, do you see the best play here without looking uh, at Quackle? Oh, I accidentally just peeked at Quackle. That is disgusting. So if you're looking <laughs> at the bottom of the screen, neocortices. If Jackson finds that, I'll just leave. It's. <laughs> I will too. I will we're gonna it. have we're gonna have an empty stream if he finds. It. I mean, I was so surprised he found Haint in that first game, um, just because his time was so low and like he hasn't he didn't appear to have seen it. But yeah, he's uh, putting down I think Nooner, which makes perfect sense as a play. You open the board, you score. Um, Neo Cortices, wow, would that what be something? Fun. That's what I'm saying. Look for extensions. Even if you're you're wasting time on it, if you have the time to waste, you might not regret it. You might regret it, but you might not regret it. <laughs> yeah, so we've seen uh, that Cesar has picked up one of the two blinks. Uh, Jackson maybe will get a blank here. Ooh, he missed it. And so that likely means that it will be really hard for Jackson to come back here. Uh, there aren't that many tiles left in the game, so if Cesar makes even uh, a play like Hajj, uh, he's pretty likely next turn to uh, get a bingo, and he already has basically a bingo lead, and Jackson probably needs two bingos to come back as a result, so he really needed a good pull to do that immediately. Uh, even being one turn off could mean a loss for him. Yeah, this is looking really bad for Jackson, luckily. Not all is lost. He can still win the next two games after this if he loses. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely glad uh, there was no sweep this time around. Uh, and we get to commentate even longer and watch these amazing players make amazing plays. So we'll see what Cesar comes up with. But yeah, just playing Hodge somewhere. And actually, you see an amazing suggestion by the engine of Hodge with two J's which is not a play you ever see because there's only one J in Scrabble and you would have to use a blank tile to play Hodge. <laughs> I can just pronounce it Hodge, but I really need to put emphasis on there, there being two J's in a row, which is just hilarious. And if Cesar sees that, he's having a little trouble. Um, but that would, be, that would be just as phenomenal as... Uh, Neo Cortices, so I might leave as well. I, I, we keep threatening to leave. We're not going to leave. Don't worry. We won't leave you guys. Yeah. Uh, we've already had one commentator down this stream. We don't need two more. So 
with that, Cesar uh, plays Hodge, uh, or is, it, he's probably looking at the amount of eyes left just because Hodge does take a back hook of an eye, Haji. I think it is the, pl- isn't it the plural of Hodge? I actually am not sure about no, that. No, I don't think so. But uh, yeah, because it does take an S. But, oh, um, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's, he's looking at how many J's are left. Yeah. Or actually, it might be someone who has made uh, the Hajj, right? So, uh, in uh, hey, right, the Hajj. Morris, the Morris missed my joke. Morris missed my joke, guys. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was uh, too busy thinking about definitions. It's okay, you, you guys caught it. It's okay. But yeah, Haji, I think, I think has to do with being a Hajj or having done a Hajj. We can always yeah. look it up. Let's see. Person that has made a Hajj, a pilgrimage to Mecca. Very good. Good one for one on definitions, Morris. Yeah, so I think though that has to still be the play, just because even like even if Jackson has an eye that scores so much, it keeps such a good leave uh, with fourteen unseen tiles or basically seven uh, in the bag. Playing something like that will virtually lock up the game because Jackson won't be able to even have enough tiles remaining. Uh, if he does get a bingo immediately, but yeah, Cesar, I th- anything it's... anything wins here for Cesar, which is why I'd play Hodge with two Js. <laughs> There's just no way. I mean, just mathematically speaking, there are no triple triples that are even possible at this point. Um, there's just as you can see those those bright red uh, things in the corner. Those are the, the triple words, and there's no way to play through two of those. And that's that's uh, that's the way Jackson would be able to come into the game, come back into the game after a play like Haj that scores what was it, 52 points? That would put Cesar had more than 100 points. And it just does not look like there's any way for Jackson to come back after that. Yeah, but uh, Cesar got some good tiles. Uh, I think Seawants would be a word through the mm-hmm. E in Nooners. Yeah. Or in Nooner. Uh, so that could come down next turn. Uh, in the meantime, Jackson isn't close to a bingo. And yeah, it's just a tough position. He just hasn't gone the tiles this game. Uh, there's not much he can do with this. Yeah, he doesn't know. He doesn't know that the game is lost, but he probably has little inkling. Um, are there any extensions available this turn? I, I really want to ask a, ask a friend, and that friend is Quackle. No, no extensions. They would be no at the top of the list. Anything, yeah. They would be at the top of the list. I mean, I'm talking about like extensions that hit uh, a, a multiplier, but um, yeah, I was thinking maybe bio cortices was a word. Um, he's running so a simulation. We'll... Yeah, so um, let's explain to the viewers what a simulation is, because I think this is the first time we're showing in the tournament. So we've been saying this entire time how Quackle has been ranking the plays in a predetermined way based on the amount you score and how valuable the tiles are that you leave. Uh, one other feature, though, to take into account the shape of the board is Quackle can run simulations and try to estimate a few turns out how the game could unfold given the play you choose. So we can see here that uh, we don't actually see the number of iterations we've done in the sim, right? The number of times we have simulated uh, the game, but we're seeing that Bota through the T in Dolt right now is coming up on top. It is sometimes interesting to try to backtrack and figure out why that could be. So my guess is that there's some sort of good IER word or maybe IEST word available uh, that Jackson could maybe have an outside shot of hitting. I think the other key thing here, though, is he needs to score at least 20 points, probably. Uh, he's yeah. down by enough that that sort of sacrifice of like a 20-point play versus a 10-point play makes even a bingo that is more likely not enough to come back and win. So yeah, it's sometimes and... unnatural. Oh, sorry, Josh. Uh, no, go for you're it. You're explaining it super well. I just wanted, because, I mean, you're seeing you're seeing Bota, and then the second option is Oba, uh, which is actually in the same area of the board, making ODE, BOS, and AL. Um, the reason that it's not doing nearly as well in a simulation as Bota is, is not only does i mean it, it's the exact same letters that you're playing but the reason it's not doing as well is because there are so many situations in which that does not work out for jackson um cesar could play next to the bos um he could he could 
do a number of things that would just uh, score too many points for Jackson to, to deal with. And as you can see, Jackson's finding the play. It's actually, when you get to this level, I mean, this sort of play actually comes pretty easy. You're like, okay, let me just look at what I might have. Uh, you might want to play bite. Um, over over Bota, but you just look at what remains. There's no eyes left, so you're not going to triplicate your eyes. Um, you're going to score as many points as possible and leave something sort of palatable for for a possible bingo. As you can see, both blanks are still unseen from Jackson's point of view, so he could draw one or both of them and be in a position to maybe steal this game away from Cesar. But as we know, Cesar is going to have the uh, the dagger if he if he chooses to to find the word. C wants, and there's probably more. There's warrants through the R. Any bingo at this point from Cesar is just going to seal the deal. And the chat points out that waterproof would also still be a possibility if uh, Cesar misses the bingo. So uh, I guess he would need either an E or uh, there are no R's left, so you'd need an E eventually. But uh, we could possibly still see that proof for it come down. Uh, but my guess is uh, he'll find the bingo hmm. so he drew the blank but it's too little too late he also drew it with yu which is not a combination you like um and uh cesar's finds finds he wants he probably saw it a couple minutes ago and he was just aching to play it hoping jackson wouldn't block and uh there it goes and that's that's basically the end here uh, jackson just needs to to make a play uh in the end game and that'll that'll be it oh he hasn't even played it what is he waiting for? Yeah, I think he was checking the tile bag, and in Scrabble Go, the tile bag automatically uh, resets the tiles to your rack. So he just probably wanted to make sure he wasn't giving up any crazy bingo for like 150 points. But uh, he Fair. sees there's nothing crazy, <laughs> places bingo, picks up the last two tiles in the bag, and he will go out next turn. There are multiple spots to put down P and E in a way that Jackson can't block. So. Uh, as a reminder, this is uh, the North American Scrabble Players Association, NASPA, bringing you this event. Uh, if you want to learn to play like these players, especially find words like see wants and to win games, uh, feel free to go to scrabble.zone slash info to learn more. And so Jackson looks like he finds a nice little play of mighty uh making that Haji took we, hook we talked about earlier. Uh, and that will uh, be a good amount of points, but he doesn't even break 300 points this turn, this game. So it really goes to show you sometimes, no matter how good a player are, no matter how good of plays you make, finding plays like courtesies won't be enough if you just start drawing things like two U's, five vowels on an exchange of five plus vowels. It's really tough to come back from. Yeah, and honestly, Jackson played really well. Cesar played really well here. Um, the only thing you could have maybe tweaked if you were Jackson was finding that crazy play of Neo Cortices. And even then, that doesn't open the board like Nooner does. And it doesn't go for the two unseen blanks like Nooner does. So maybe it, it just came down to uh, the play of FEU. But who knows? Like uh, these, little, these little tweaks is, is what makes uh, these players as good as they are. 